All right, before I start this, let me just say happy Pride Month. Now, a long time ago, I came out as bisexual because I already knew what my sexuality was, but was very silent about it because you know how people react to stuff. When I first came out about it, I had lost a few friends because they either grew up in a religious family and were taught about something that makes them think a person is going to go to hell. And there was this one person I met that I didn't know was homophobic, but would go to any link to try and remove me from everything just because of what, what I had in my bio. Before the video starts, please leave a like if you enjoyed. So let me give you the backstory of how I met this hacker because it was, this story time takes place a long time ago. It was during a Call of Duty match and I was just playing with a few friends. Now I tend to get so competitive in, in that game and I would start yelling at people and saying that they cheated because I hated losing. And there was this one guy, I'm going to call him Jonathan, who basically was using hacks in the game. I don't know how he was able to do this without getting in trouble. But what he was doing was using an invincibility hack and when someone shoots at him, he doesn't take any damage or dies. But that wasn't the scary part. But after the game ended, some other guy started talking shit to him and he called him a cheater. And then Jonathan goes, I'm gonna boot you offline if you don't shut the fuck up in the next 30 seconds. But the guy just kept going and Jonathan actually did what he said and took him offline by finding his IP and everything. And then, one of my idiot friends, who I'm going to call Andy, decided to send this guy a friend request because he said to him, Yo, dude, you're cool. Can you teach me how to do that? And I go and message Andy saying to him, Dude, what the fuck are you doing? Did you not see what happened? And he replies back saying, Let it go. The guy was insulting him and was being a dick. I like Jonathan. And at this point, I couldn't convince him any further. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll let him do what he wants. And over the past few months, whenever I was with Andy, he would invite Jonathan and play together. And he seemed chill with me all the time. And I thought, hmm, this dude is alright and he doesn't seem like a bad person. There's just no possible way. Yeah, I was wrong. Because fast forward to a few years later, that's when I realized that I shouldn't have been friends with this guy. So, it was just a normal day. Nothing out of the ordinary. And all seemed okay. I haven't seen Andy on at all. And it was kind of weird. He was usually online and playing some COD. And this day was the day I came out of his body because I always had it in my bio on all my social medias. Well, not all social medias. I don't put it on my YouTube. But anyway, before I go ahead and get off topic, while many people did accept it, there was some who demonized me and didn't agree with it and cut me off of everything. That stuff didn't bother me. And right after I did that, I get an invite to none other than Jonathan. Now, I got a bit hesitant and scared to join him, and I couldn't figure out why I was scared. He didn't do anything to me that would make me scared of him, so I ignored it and joined him. That was the biggest mistake I ever made. As soon as I joined, Jonathan says hi to me, and we just decided to play some COD and won three matches. Nothing seemed odd and I thought I was just being paranoid. But then an hour later, Jonathan decided to speak and say, so Zendir, I found your Instagram account and I just got surprised by that because I didn't I don't remember ever telling him that I have I'm a YouTuber so my guess is Andy must have told him since pe some people have been telling their friends to subscribe to me and friend me like I don't really mind people doing that because that really does help my channel so I say to Jonathan oh uh I wasn't expecting you to find it and then he says well you have a lot of followers which is kind of awesome I didn't have that many followers, I only had like 700 at the time, and I was also thinking of making a new Instagram account after I had deleted the one he mentioned. Like, I know I told you why I deleted Instagram, but I've been thinking, hmm, maybe I should get a new Instagram account. So you might, so if I do get an Instagram account, a new one, then I'll probably let you know guys. So after he follows me, he reads my bio and he saw where it said I, in, that I'm bisexual and he goes, wait, so you're bi? And I say yes to him and I shit you not, he goes, come on man, don't make jokes. I hope you're not serious. And I got confused at why he said that because why would I joke about my sexuality? I never make jokes about anything because that would just make me look like a total dick. So the fact he said that made me question about that. But I ignored it and I said, um, why would I joke about that? I'm being serious. 
and he goes and says, dude, stop joking, it's not funny. And the tone of his voice changed from being calm to being mad. That's what concerned me. So as soon as I said I was being serious again, he got fucking angry. No, seriously, he got fucking pissed like a bulldog like he was ready to attack me or something. So he says, and when the fuck were you going to tell me this? And I say to him, bruh, do you expect me to trust people? I don't go around telling people, not even my family members, about anything that has to do with me or anything that has happened because I don't like people overreacting and saying, oh, you don't know what you're talking about, stuff like that. And he says, so I guess you can call yourself, and he says the F slur, he calls me that, that F slur, I don't want to say it on here, because you teach people to sexualize the young. And I got so fucking angry at that comment he made. So I say to him, dude, what the fuck is your problem? Why are you acting like this? And he goes, my problem is that I didn't know I was friends with some weirdo. My God. And me and him just continued to argue back and forth for a while until he finally unadds me from PlayStation and blocks me. And I'm just sitting there pissed off thinking to myself, what a fucking piece of shit. And I thought that was the end of it. But no, 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 no. Blocking wasn't enough. He thought in order for him not to hear from me is basically get rid of me himself. So a month goes by and I haven't heard from him since then and I was on Discord on my computer just talking to a few people as I was playing Arsenal and I get a notification from my tablet from the PlayStation app and I go to look at the message and it's from him and I shit you not I almost shit myself when I saw this. It was Jonathan and in the message he said hey is this your which he had my full name, address, you name it. And when I saw this, I was like, no, 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 no. Seriously, why the fuck does this have to happen now? Like, come on now. So I reply back real quickly and say, dude, what the hell? Why are you doing this? I haven't done anything to you. And he says, to get rid of freaks like you. I thought furries were bad, but you're way worse. And at this point, I was getting scared because now this guy had all my info and was planning to leak it all over the place. So I had to think of something on how to stop this guy. So I say to the others in the voice chat, hey, there's this hacker that's threatening to leak my information all over the place and possibly get me removed because of something he found out. And then one of them that I'm going to call Mike says, who is it? And I tell him the name and out of nowhere, Mike says, wait, I know that guy. One of my friends had a problem with him. And I asked him who it was his friend and he said it was Andy because it turns out that Andy pissed off Jonathan and he booted him offline. No wonder I haven't heard from him. So I tell Mike the whole story of what happened and why he was doing this. And he says, yeah, had a feeling. I knew something was odd about Jonathan. And I told Andy to cut him off because this guy is nothing more than a homophobic piece of shit that always insults people and pushes them to depression. But he wouldn't listen to me. So me, Mike, and the others in the group needed to think of a way plan to, on how to stop Jonathan at this point because this was literally scary right now. That's when I finally came up with something. And it was the perfect plan to scare this guy. And I know some of y'all are going to question me, but hey, when someone wants to threaten to leak all my information, I will go to any extent to prevent that. So I say to Mike, do you have him added on Discord? And he says, yeah, I can see him online right now. And then I say, add him to this group. What we're going to do is when he joins, you find out what his IP and other information is. And we're going to scare him into thinking we're going to leak his information, but we're not actually going to do it just scare him enough to where he might decide to quit what he's doing. And just to let you know, Mike is also a hacker, but one of the good ones, thank God. So Mike goes and adds Jonathan to the party and he joins the voice chat where he notices me and he says, what the fuck is this? Why is he here? And then Mike goes and says, so I heard about what you were doing to said dear Jonathan. Like, are you insane? And then he goes on this full rant about me saying, oh, I keep secrets from him and that I'm a freak and a weirdo. And then Mike drops the ball and says, well, OK, but let me ask you this. Is this your he says his full name, his address and all his other information. And Jonathan got fucking scared and was like, whoa, hold on. that's not my info. I swear it's not mine. And then I say, listen here, Jonathan, you have a choice. Either you get rid of my information, stop doing all this hacking never talk to me again and and I won't ever tell anybody about what you did here or we're gonna leak all your information on Twitter and anywhere else because right now what you just did was too far over what because I'm bi 
Was that really the reason to get upset and having to do all this shit to me? You need serious help because your brain must not be working right. And Jonathan says, okay, please, I will leave you alone. I will stay away from you and never mention you. Just please don't leak any of my information. I don't want any problems. And after that, we both agreed and Jonathan left the group. And me and the others just started laughing our asses off because we thought this guy was going to shit himself. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I was happy and none of my information got leaked. But I also later found out that Mike actually cut off Jonathan's internet completely because he didn't really trust him and also wanted revenge against him. So Jonathan is completely banned from online and I don't know what he's doing now. Nor Mike because he suddenly disappeared too. So yeah, that's the end of this story time and the moral of this is don't act like Jonathan and don't be homophobic. Thank you guys for watching and if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like, subscribe if you are new, follow me on Twitter because that's where I'm mostly active at, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out and have a good day. Goodbye.